A while back, I made this grass video tutorial. At the time, I did know how to make grass, but I didn't entirely know why it made grass. As in, I didn't know the fundamental reason of why something looks fluffy or not. But knowing that is extremely important, as it can be used in many other places, not just for grass. So, although you're probably here just to learn how to make grass or trees or something, please try to actually understand how this stuff works, as it's an extremely important tool that's required for making any type of nature-looking environment. So, before we start, you need to learn about the Data Transfer Modifier. I know that name sounds pretty intimidating, and, I mean, look at all those buttons, but it's actually pretty simple. All it's doing is taking information from one object and moving it to another. For this video, you only need to know how to use this custom normals button, but the other ones like UV and color work basically the same way. Okay, so if you don't know, normals are pretty much just information for where light should hit. As you can see here, red is left, blue is up, green is forward, so on. And as you can see as I rotate this, Every single direction has a color for it. It's just how it knows what direction the light is touching. And so that way it can make the light work in a way to make it look like a shape. But what if you could swap the normal data with another object? Like what if you put these cube normals on a blob statue? Well, that's where the data transfer comes in. Just select the object you want to copy the normals of with this eyedropper thing, and there you go. Now that blob statue has the same normal information as the cube, which obviously doesn't look good, but I think you get the idea of how this works. And so you may be wondering how this applies to grass. If you've ever seen a painting before, more specifically something like a oil or acrylic painting, you might have noticed that accurately painting every single detail in blade of grass is impossible. So most paintings will just make it all one or a few colors. You may also notice that the only place you can actually see grass is around the edges of things. And this is a very important rule of painting. It's not about the detail in the object that gives it texture, it's the edges, and only the edges. Like look at this, this just looks completely flat. And you may think that to make it look fluffy you'd have to paint a whole bunch of grass and little details, but that's not true. Just draw some blades here and it looks like grass, that's it. So can you guess where I'm going with this? If you want to make photorealistic grass, you're going to need to copy how nature makes all their assets, which is by painstakingly modeling every single blade of grass and leaf. But if you want to just do it how painters do it, and only create the illusion of grass, then how would you go about making that in Blender? You can't just add blades of grass around the edges of things because every blade you add has its own shape and direction it's facing and bouncing back light along with ambient occlusion and shadows. In order to only see them for their edge, you're going to have to give them the same light data as the surface they're on, which is where the data transfer comes in. Now in order for this to work, the grass blades need to be a separate object from the one you're copying the normals from. But after that, just add the data transfer to your grass blades, then select the grass ground. And now it's the same normal data as the ground, but there's still shadows. For this, you're going to want to turn off shadows on your material. You might also want to change your light settings like the contact distance and stuff. This can cause some issues with lighting in other places in your world, but I haven't found a better way of getting rid of shadows for the grass. So, if anyone knows a better way, please let me know. I also believe ambient occlusion can cause issues with the grass, so if you're still seeing shadows, you might want to try turning that off. Oh yeah, also, make sure to turn on back face culling, or else the back of your grass will be midnight black. By this point, I'm expecting you to be able to make a grassy field on your own, but if not, I'll run through it one more time. First, get your grass model, or texture, I prefer textures to save them polygons and look softer. Then I usually like making a small clump of grass to make the next process easier, but just scatter them around wherever you want them. I like manually doing it as it gives me more control, but you can also make a particle system and use that to scatter them around. Then add the data transfer, and you're good. But this doesn't only apply to grass, 
This technique with the data transfer also applies to a lot of applications, like making a tree. Wouldn't you know it, but when it comes to trees, just like grass, the only thing that really matters is what the edges of it look like. So make your tree trunk, then make the general basic shape of your tree. For me, I'm going to just make a basic ball. Actually, no, you know what? I've made way too many trees. I'm sick of making trees. I'm gonna make this one weird. Now, just cover it in leaves the same way with the grass again. I'm using the texture, but you can model the leaf if you want to. Now, do the same thing you did with the grass and the data transfer thing. But this time, add another object afterwards. It's reference for the normals. Normally, that would be a sphere, but since this tree is a bit of an odd shape, I'm going to model it a little bit just to fit it better. Now, steal those normals from it and get rid of it. And there's your tree. Same deal as the grass, pretty much. Also, this is all one mesh. I don't know if I made that clear, but the leaves and the shape of the tree are all together, and the tree stump is separate. And while I'm not going to show how to make plants, I'm sure you can figure it out at this point. And if you can't, well I'm disappointed in you and I'm expecting you to rewatch the video and try harder because I tried my best to explain it and if that's not good enough for you then I don't know what to say. Okie dokie, let's move on to games. I've only made this grass in Unreal Engine, but I feel like this applies to other game engines as well. I'd be surprised if it didn't. So, as you know by now, the way the grass works is by getting the ground underneath it for the normals. But in a game, you're probably going to want it to be a single clump that you can just spread all over the place. So instead of making an entire field, just make a little clump of grass. Like this. Then, as you'll remember, you need it to hide the back, or else it will turn black. But as you can see here, it looks a bit odd without one side being visible. To fix this, select everything, then duplicate it. Then flip the face. I find sometimes if you use this with textures in Blender, it can look a bit weird, and the transparency can go black, which is why I didn't mention it earlier, but in Unreal Engine, it works fine, and I imagine other game engines would work fine as well. Now do what you did before, and add a plane below it, and do the whole data transfer thing. Alternatively, you could also select everything, and use point to target, and put in some big numbers in whatever direction you want the normals to face. Obviously, this isn't copying from any object, so for something like a tree, this wouldn't work. But for a simple bit of grass, where you only need it to face in one direction, it saves a little bit of hassle. Now, do whatever you'd normally do to export it to your game engine, make a grass material. I'm not going to go into detail on that, but you can pause the video and see how I made mine. Then, either add them in manually, or use foliage mode to spread them about. Then turn off shadows, and that's basically it. And with trees, just do that whole duplicating all the leaves, then flipping them thing, and then they work from there too. If you have any problems, I'll do my best to answer, though please try to be specific. If you just say, didn't work, that doesn't give me anything to work off of. But if you say something like, I got up to the point where you told me to flip the normals, then it turned blue and started smoking, that gives me a bit more to go off of. And of course, if there's something else you want to know how to make for Blender or Unreal Engine or both, please let me know and I'll consider it. Unless you tell me to make an avocado, in which case I'll ban you.